Hey everybody, it's the Doctor here with Typical Manga Fan, and this episode of the Typical Manga Review is going to be dedicated to Chapter 654, Dead Man Standing. And I have a problem with this title, but it will come up later. But for now, we're going to open up where we left off before with Tweety Barrow, with t bits of Tweety Barrow raining down. And you know, what? I understand that this area is supposed to be like what was decimated by his Mega Snipe earlier. <laughs> you call that a Mega Sniper? Okay. I said Mega Snipe. Oh, because you see point. how like the buildings are like just like literally like broken down there. Okay. Why do they look like apartment buildings? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the, the Quincy is supposedly. Oh yeah, the, they they have rooms, don't they? Yeah. I don't know. And then, um, although well, one could argue though, like you know, the, the giant explosions. What if they're all just one big gigantic bullet? And it's, it's <laughs> technically still a sniping weapon. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like I said, we 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 close in on Kyoraku and now, but. They both are pretty much are pretty much out of it at this point. Like they need to get either like nerves are kind of kicking in or just exhausted at this point. And so Kiraku is just like, "Hey, let's go find the others." No, oh no, I'm I'm kind of tired now. So I gotta just... get some rest. That's, the... that's been the but well, that's been the pattern though. Like after beating the Quincy's, the Shinigami just go down for the count. So it's it, yeah. it's often like. It's not that it's a draw, but it's kind of like when you see these guys fight. They just it, by the end of the, all the fights, it's literally just gonna be Ichigo left, hmm. you know, or in his crew basically. Okay. And as we go on this next point, I have something that comes to mind here, but I just kind of just now realize. But apparently, we come back down to Soul Society, which I have to admit it took me a little while to realize we had changed settings. And look, it's the chair. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't believe he's just still there. I mean, what was the point of releasing him if they're not gonna take him with them? Yeah, well, actually, what was the point of him releasing him again? Well, like, it, I mean, I would say he's maybe protecting the city, but, like, they're still getting through. Yeah, I, I don't understand what, what, I mean, why did they bring him out in the first place? Like, what was, yeah. they, I, I, I totally forgot, what, what, why did they release him again? I like, don't why? know anymore. I, I'm actually, I'm actually, I have actually forgotten. I mean, apparently they wanted Yusuf for his power, but then the Quincy decided to relocate. Yeah, and then he and it turns out that the chair is preventing him from like pulling down the the soul palace. So it's like, okay, then what good are, what good are you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, some fodder gets foddered. Yeah, that's. They wonder what's going on, and a beam from nowhere just blasts guy's face off. That you know, I'll just say this: the um, the Quin in the Quincy arc, the fodder have been like they've not just been killed; they've been like mutilated. Yeah. And that's on that note, Tweety Barrow is still alive. Seriously. I was right! I was right! I knew yeah. it! I knew it wasn't the end! And there is one plus side to this regarding one of our earlier complaints, but I'll get to that. we'll get there in a moment. Okay. He's even his head is even more deformed than before. Like he, like in this first panel, he looks like one of those drinking bird toys. And and it and it, and his entire body forms into a flamingo. Yes. For no good reason that I can see. Well, and that... he also re for no good reason that I can see, and it also looks like he's lost his halo. Yeah, and he talks about how like, his, yeah, it's gone, and yeah. he's pissed off, and because he's basically like a sinner now. Yeah, it freaks him uh, right the hell out. He he starts going into his his, his good old proper arrogance breakdown. I, I yeah, I, you know what? Here's the thing though. Like, I'm I'm just is, was he always supposed to be a flamingo? Because now I'm just being confused as to what birds he's becoming. I don't even think he's supposed to be. He, his he keeps deforming back and forth as this whole scene plays out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's definitely flamingo because it's, it's you know one feet, it's in long neck. I mean, it's obviously flamingo, yeah. but it's just like, what, how, what make Kubo choose flamingo? Like, what, is there supposed to be a reference that I'm, we're not getting here? Maybe a pun or something. It could be crane. I, is it? Is why are they doing this at right after Dolph Flamingo got defeated in One Piece? Was it supposed to be I don't like, know. Hey, <laughs> there you go. I, I, I can do flamingos too. I don't know. It could be like a crane or something. I don't know. But anyway, he like he, Tweety Barrow keeps blasting stuff all over the city, and they start turning into more Tweety Barrows. Oh God, he's breeding. Yeah, I'm just, how, it's like really he could he could split himself. Mm -hmm. What the frick? Is this, how, this is like Pernita. How is yeah. he like Pernita now? Yep. Of course, one of the Tweety Barrows gets like sliced up quite nicely, and apparently gets taken down, beheaded. And it's like, oh my gosh, who could have done this? This must know, be such like, a great, well-known char uh, character who is extremely powerful. And oh uh, wow, didn't expect him. It's Izuru Kira. This. I, and, I his, was, and his right angle sword. I was so like, what? I laughed so. I don't. I couldn't believe what I just saw. Like this, Kira's back. This is the guy that was the, literally the second major casualty. Credit where it's due. The panel of the moon shining through a 
literally a missing chunk of him. It's still pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It is, um, especially with the silhouette and how he's just like, and you're making my ears bleed. At the same time, though, he's. I mean, it's kind of funny. He sounds like a Quincy, you know, mm-hmm. when he says that all, all right. that shit. Who are you? I. Who are you? Identify yourself, a dead man. And he starts actually kicking ass. Good for I'm him. Just, I'm so confused. How is this possible? How is he? Did he? Out- get, he didn't get zombified by Bambina. Did he? Did he? I don't but, think he did. No, because uh, well, uh, but he would. Well, not Bambina. Actually, you, you mean by Giselle? It's Giselle. Well, the, the, the zombie one, yeah. Yeah, Giselle. The cockroach girl. Giselle. Yeah. yeah. Actually, did Tweety Bro kill him originally? Because he seems to recognize him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think he did. And the reason why was because if you, if you look, remember the how uh no. Kira got killed or supposedly <laughs> killed. It got, there was a blast like a like a sniping blast. Ah. Okay. Uh, from and so it, it's never shown who shot him. But I'm assuming that it was little right because now we know. Also, I can't get. Also, as we see, like whenever we see a bunch of these Tweety birds together, I can't help but get like a, especially with how weird they look, a weird little, um, ornith. What's what's the word for a bird science? Ornith something? Ornithology? Ornithological Titan thing going? Oh, it, it, it's just. I'm. I, I'm just. I. I mean, I'm just at this point. All I can think of is I'm so confused. Like. Yeah. How how is he still alive? I mean, I get this is Lee, so we have some uh, flexibility on some, but on surviving, you know, crazy injuries. But there is a hole in him, and he's not a hollow. He's not like Ichigo, who you know was is that actually understand for surviving. I mean, the, Kira is. Yeah. I, I, I'm just confused. How he is the second major casualty of this of, of this of this entire arc. I mean, right after um, the first uh, division lieutenant. So. I mean, I didn't think he'd amount to anything. I mean, he was a, he's a popular character from what I recall, mm-hmm. but I didn't think... But it, it, he's not that powerful. So, I, I mean, look, I, Little Bar was weaker than he was because of Nanao's attack. I, I get that. Yeah. But how's he all... How's Kira all, like... How's he this... Like, how's he this powerful? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or, or is it like that, um... Or is it that, uh... Little Bar got so weak that he's like lieutenant level now. I don't like you know what I'm saying like I I, I don't I don't understand what's going on like the yeah. power levels are just crazy right at this point. Yep, thanks. It. It's not even worth worrying about anymore. And Kira's yeah. Kira's not even like surprised that he's alive. He's just like, oh yeah, I appreciate the wake up call, but I wonder how I survived this. Uh, oh, and he, and he's and he's, and he's all like, there's definitely something more going on here. Well, and he gives this very like blank, uh, very dark stare. At Little Baro, and so I'm just like, wow, he's extremely confident for a guy who just got one shotted. Yeah, and he's and it's facing I, the guy who one shotted him, presumably. Yeah, I, I just, I don't, I, I don't, I, 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 I'm, it's unfathomable to me. I don't know what's yeah. going on. And on that note, we change scenes a bit. We go back to Thor, who's getting thrown around by Renji and Byakuya. Okay, we all know that this fight's gonna last a long time because well, it's a bleach fight first of all. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is this. Is he trying? To tr- is Kuba trying to trick us for a, one second? Because when I see Thor get beaten, well, I was like, oh no. At this, not really, because the final page here is like. I, I know. Like, and that's no- what I'm saying. For one second, for one second, is he trying to be like, oh my gosh, is is it actually gonna like kind of like how Kenpachi one shot at Giriko after all that hype? I thought that was funny, by the way. Yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like just feel too. like. Yeah, but this, I just feel like no, this, this, they're not gonna like. I feel like I feel like there's this like I'm, I was thinking to myself. I was like, oh, I, mean, this I don't probably... think it's setting that up though. I think it's more setting up the start of the actual battle because yeah. look at what he says here. Like, um, no way I can defeat you. Is that what you truly believe? Then if I were to defeat you, then that would have to be a miracle, wouldn't it? And yeah, his, I, I, that's his Sternritter letter. Yeah, he's the which I'm, Yeah, what I'm wondering means if if you got a power like mine from a comic got killed, like the bigger the danger the greater his power yeah basically that's what I'm thinking like like he, he makes it so that he goes against the, the, the strongest opponents and therefore that increases his ability of actually winning versus someone who maybe would be uh, maybe but then uh, you know then someone who would be at his level in which case actually has a chance of killing him so in this case it'd actually be bad if he was if he faced mm-hmm. if you were too powerful against him yep. I feel like that's another ability who was there someone who's like that I don't know. Oh, Ask, no, Askin's not like that. Askin's different. He's, but he's yeah, Askin's like, a bit different. Yeah, he's he's got the old dosage thing. Well, well, here's the thing. So, Renji's automatically out, uh, because he already showed his Bankai, so yeah. he's useless now. Uh, yeah. By Bleach rules, he is now useless. But, Byakuya still has one Bankai. So, but here's the thing. So, Byakuya already showed his Sheikai's 
ability. See, this is what Bleach does. I, I, I already can predict what's going on. So Bia since Bianca has showed his Shikai ability, that makes that useless. Yeah. That means his Bankai is the only thing left, but that's only one technique. So that means, um, and that'd be Shinji, maybe showing his Bankai. And of course, you know, maybe Momo's gonna do something that makes her captain level. I swear to God, yeah. why is all the lieutenants suddenly becoming captain level out of nowhere? Well, I say I, I like the I like the concept of the of helping out, yeah. Or at least maybe like a one side starting, the other side finishing. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I just yeah. I just think, but the problem is the, the bleach style of critical blows make it look like they're that powerful, you know? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but that's pretty much where the chapter ends with Thor getting ready to miracle Renji's ass. And yeah. that's pretty much. There's not really much to say that we didn't already cover kind of along the way here. I say I do have one big problem with this chapter. It's the title is Dead Man Standing, and Yoruichi's brother is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> uh, you know, I actually thought it. Would, it would re- I thought it actually it referenced Kiraku. At first. Oh yeah, obviously. I mean, that, that's where it's obviously going. I'm just, yeah. I'm just being more of a joker right there. But still, well, it was because I saw some spoilers, and some guy was like, "Oh, Kiraku's gonna die." I'm like, "Really?" Because I thought I thought he already read it, so I thought I thought Kiraku was actually gonna die the chapter. <laughs> But or something, but it's it's like no, it was actually talking about Kira, who I'm if, okay. If he can come back from that, then like for like a Loopy, I, I mentioned this on Twitter. If Loopy could come back from having his entire upper torso vaporized, yep. then then suddenly we have an, a possibility for anyone, As, and especially when they have Orihime, who actually has the ability to resurrect the dead. So yep, you know at this point what I, I was thinking about it, we were kind of going through the chapter and kind of double checking who's what Thor's power was, Miracle. I just realized, we're probably going to see Baz B come back to life at some point, aren't we? Well, we saw, the problem is we already saw his Vandenreich. I'm right. um, not Vandenreich, his uh, Volstand dig, so maybe that's not... Like, we, we, already, we already saw the Volstand dig of the Quincy's who've died. Hmm. Uh, even if for a second. So, that might actually take them out. Hmm. Um, but here's the thing. So I, I, just, I remember on Twitter I said, look, if Kira can come back, then why not Toast and Ogin? I can like, get behind that. I mean, like, 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 I find them more enjoyable than these knuckleheads. Yeah. I mean, um, and I'm, I've always liked the idea of a, of a of a former or a former villain or even a current villain fighting against these new villains. I'm, I've always liked that. That's yep. personal. It's subjective for me. But um, so I, I mean, that's I, what we're hoping for with Eisen, I'm sure. Yeah, but here's so I, there's a couple things I want to say that I'm just going to translate from what I said on Twitter, which is that one, I think this fight is getting. I thought, I thought. Little boss surviving that is just like a big, a big a facepalm moment because I get it. Powerful enemies are very resilient, but mm-hmm. it's been dragged out for so damn long. Not even including the part where he got defeated by uh, the, the royal guard before getting an, another power up. That it's just at this point you just you're just tired. I, mean, I looked at the bleach comments. Ninety percent of the bleach comments agree that this is boring. Like even a lot of the bleach fans are like, no, this is boring. This is this this is too much. Like yeah. you know, and if you get the bleach fans to turn you. Then you basically turn the world over, cause yeah, cause like the it, I don't mean like I said it's the mo- the most impressive part of this was Chair Sama. Yeah, um, and uh, here's another problem I have was that um, oh, well, two a few problems, but the first one is that the problem is with this many characters coming back from the dead, well, poss- possibly I mean we have we already had the Iran cars come back like six or four of them come mm-hmm. back. We've had uh. We've had suppo- uh, we had Kira come back, and we supposedly had I, I don't know if we can count Hitsugaya or Rankyuku, but I mean because they were explicitly saved. Yeah, but they were zombies too, so we didn't, yeah. we didn't know what their state was. Oh, oh, but ten- oh, um, uh, Kensei and Rose are technically dead. Um, oh yeah. So like, but the thing is, though, like with this many characters coming back, you're already pushing at a large, an already large cast, too large cast. Like Bleach has a huge cast, so we, when you bring out characters who were killed off, the cast can, gets even bigger. To the point where it's maybe too big, or you know, because it's already too big, and that is the first problem I have. The second problem I have is that, well, actually relates to the first problem is that because you have so many characters, they're so spread out. Therefore, you have to switch locations so many times. And the problem is, like, I, I um, that, I know that happens. I like in Ble- in One Piece, they they yeah. did that, but each location was only there for like a chapter or two. The problem with Bleach is that all these locations are like ten, to, eight to ten chapters. You know, f- the fights. So, we, we we like we don't see Ichigo for like fifty chapters per t- every time. You know, we get a glimpse of him, but and because of that, you, it, it, you start feeling disconnected from like everyone else because you're so focused. Uh, you've been focused on these two characters for like ten weeks. You know, so that's that's a problem I have. You need to have 
I wouldn't say have all of them in one place, but really minimize the setting and have them, you know... Well, have, we can't really minimize the setting anymore than we already are. I mean, there's there's barely any backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what I mean by like, minimize the locations in terms yeah. of... Yeah, like, like at, at least that way we can, you know, see people... You focus on the characters that matter. Because you know what? I don't want to. I, I don't want to say these captains don't matter, but they don't. They literally don't. Like Not it's really. just because they, they, after they beat the defeat the, the the Quincy, they, they get they get knocked out themselves basically. So it's just there. They're just there to eliminate the fodder. And it's weird calling these guys fodder, but that's what it is. Like, yeah, they're just there to cancel each other out. So that way, each go gets to have a one on one or or one on one fight with Uabok by the at the end of the day, you know, mm. or at the end of the ten years. I don't know. It's yeah, I mean, he's basically just dragging it. Out. Basically, a way to drag this out more than anything else. I mean, I mean, that's that is a problem I have with uh with with the way it was set. It was, it was setting stuff up. I mean, that, this is not just with Bleach though. A lot of shonens do that, where you know the the second command will fight the second command, the third command, which yeah, I mean, they always fight like with Zoro fighting the swordsman, that kind of thing. Yeah, but it's not like oh he has to beat this guy and therefore he can help Luffy. It's like no, once he beats this guy, he's gonna stop. Because you don't know you're not gonna use this yeah. character. Like it seems like you're using it's like, it feels like the characters that at least what Bleach has, are like a like a like like an item. You know, you use them once, you beat your enemy, and you can't use them again. You know? That's what it feels like. Yeah, because even in, like, the, all the other past arcs, that's the same kind of thing that happened. Yeah. Mm. Um, it it kind of did. Like, like Ryu got knocked down in the Solstice of the arc. Uh, yeah, it, it, that that was actually a problem way back in Solstice of the too, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was yeah. like, you know... Um, but uh, at the same time, it, it, it's it's the problem again. I think the problem, the reason why it's worse now is because you have such a big cast, so it's happening more frequently. Um, yeah, and it's like it's in more, probably even more blatantly too. In some cases, but, I don't but, know. Like 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 Mayuri's already knocked. He's already out, right? Like the I mean, thing, he's already out. Uh, I bet when I bet when by the time this fight's done, Thor's gonna be killed. But Renji and Biakir are gonna be so tired they can't move on, and so no one's gonna get to the main center of the of the palace except for again the main cast. Like you know, yep. each goes the only one who can fight more than one fight. Yeah, everyone else is either going to lose or only get that one fight. Like you said. That, yeah, that's the problem I have. Oh, I just found out he's like the tw- all the tw- looking at some bleach comments on my own. One of them calls all the the um the army of Tweety Borrow Titans the rubber chicken men. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, you know, you know. Um. What I didn't notice about Libaro though is that he's so much like Panito now. Like, if you think about it, remember, like they they both started off very differently as different characters, but by the end of the day, um, they become very similar in personality. They they yeah. talk about how godly they are. They even have some of the same like splitting powers. Yeah. Um, and then you know they becomes just arrogant. So it's, yeah. it's, it maybe, feels like maybe he's part of the Soul King too. <laughs> what is he? The left leg. <laughs> the drumstick. Uh, <laughs> drumstick. When again, he, uh, he's a bird. There's another part that could go with that. <laughs> I don't know. This is ridiculous. I'm just going to stop it right here. Yeah, I think we're good to go at this point. Because like, we don't... What's happening is what's happening pretty much at this point. I don't think any of us are really worried about it anymore. Yeah. Right, so at this point, that'll be our review of Bleach Chapter 654, Dead Man Standing. But not Dead Man Walking. That's U0. Uh, go ahead and take us away. Bye. U0 is a dead man.